Hi YouTube. Not gonna lie to you, I don't really have an opening statement on this one, so I'm just gonna launch right into something. And that something is what I think of Time Warp on the Discovery Channel. So if you haven't seen it, Time Warp is one of those shows where they have high-speed cameras and they just show you stuff you wouldn't normally see, and it's really cool. But here's what I've noticed. They try and make it look really, like, smart and stuff, but there's no science there. Basically, it kind of looks something like this. Hey, hey, Bill! Yeah, man? I got some new high-speed video capture equipment, and I'd like to know if you'd like to go shoot things with me. What do you say? Alright. And that's really all it is. And I'm totally okay with that. That's great by me. I like shows with minimal science content sometimes. Sometimes you want to know how everything works, sometimes you just want to see things shatter into a million little tiny pieces that can never be reassembled. That's just how it is. Moving along into an anecdote, I was at my friend's locker the other day and he was putting his things away, and then he was done. So he shut his locker and he turns to me and said, let's roll. But right as he said let's roll, a kid in a wheelchair comes by and glares at us. We felt really bad. I had somebody message me this week and ask me how to be funny. And I broke it into a two-step process. Step number one. Think of something Dane Cook would say. Hmm. <gasps> Step two. Say the exact opposite. I recently got into a discussion with my friend Justin, whose YouTube name is Voldy. Link on the sidebar. Did you see that? I've been practicing. Because left shoulder is the sidebar, not this way. Not that way, not that way. This way. Sidebar is over here. Left shoulder. I will never mess it up again, I promise. Don't hold me to that promise. But anyway, I was talking with him, and we were talking about what our favorite games were when we were little. And for some of us, little might be like the Atari, or it could be N64, or it could be Super Nintendo. But personally, the first system we ever had was a Sony PlayStation, and I loved it so much. And my absolute favorite games were, and I think still are, partly because of nostalgia and partly because of music and visual style, and it's really, really good otherwise. The original Spyro Trilogy. And I think part of the reason I like these games so much is when I was little, I was never able to beat them 100%, but now that I'm older and a little bit more skilled and that kind of thing, I can go back and just breeze through them, but it's still fun and challenging after, like, gosh, ten years. After ten years, it's still fun. Oh, Insomniac, how my heart sings for thee. Until the Vendi Universal screwed Spiral up. Thanks, guys. Thanks. So what I want to know is, what was your favorite game from when you were really, really little? Just a wee little embryo. And I'm really excited that December is here because that means they start playing holiday music. And I love holiday music because it always makes me really happy and excited for Christmas, which is my favorite day of the year. Yeah. Grant. <laughs> Come here. Don't give me that look. And I suppose that's all I have to say today. Bye.